This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's video I'll be demonstrating how you can take a, a graphic like an icon or a logo and apply an embroidery effect to it to make it look like it's stitched onto a patch or something like that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started here in GIMP. Uh, as you can see here, I have this starting image here. If you'd like to follow along with exactly what I'm doing, I'll have a link to this image in the description of the video. Otherwise, if you'd like to use your own image, just make sure it's something relatively simple like this where it has um, just a small amount of colors, like maybe I'd say like f three, four, maybe five colors at the most and no gradients whatsoever. And there should be clear distinction between each color within these elements. They shouldn't like be bleeding into each other or anything like that. It doesn't, this isn't really going to work well. Uh, if you're using um, like gradients or anything like that. So try to think of it in terms of actual embroidery. If you're going to actually uh, embroider something onto a piece of clothing, you'd want your design structured, something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, what I want to do first is grab my uh, embroidery texture, which I will link in the description as, as well. Here it is right here. I'm going to open that with GIMP and I'm going to edit, copy. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back to our image and I'm going to paste that as a new layer. So I'll go to edit paste as new layer and I want to center this up over the image so let me go to the uh, alignment tool which is right here uh, the relative to we want that set, uh, set to uh, image I'm going to click on the actual texture right there to select it and then just center it up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it around a little bit so I'm going to grab the rotate tool and I'm just going to click and drag this clockwise to rotate it around I'm going to hold control so it it locks it into 15 degree angles and I'm going to rotate it at 45 degrees and you'll see the degrees right there on the rotate menu where it says angle it says 45 we're going to leave it right there go ahead and click rotate and we should have it rotated like that um, what I'm going to do now is go to image uh, no I'm sorry layer and layer to image size like that and I'm going to click and drag this to the bottom beneath the liquid icon graphic and turn off the visibility of that and then I'm going to create a duplicate copy of that. I'm going to click on the button that says create a duplicate of the layer and edit the image. And we're going to have another copy of that texture. And I'm going to bring this up top above the, uh, the graphic we're working with here. So once we've done that, I'm going to grab the, um, I'm going to click on the layer with the graphic, with the icon. And I'm going to click this button right here that says select by colors. Go ahead and click on the white portion of the graphic. And that's going to select everything that's white in the graphic. Now I'll come back up here to this top layer. I'm going to turn on the visibility. Then I'll go to um, Select, Invert, and then I'll press Delete on the keyboard. Or if you're using Mac, you can go to Edit, Clear. And that's going to delete everything outside of there. It's basically going to take that texture and apply it over to the white portion of the graphic. Now we can go to Select, None. Now typically when we're working with any other color except for white, what we do now is go to Mode and go to Grain Merge. But with white, it doesn't really show quite show through quite right. I'm gonna try multiply instead. Yeah, multiply works, but uh, again, it doesn't really it doesn't really have the effect we're looking for. It looks more gray than white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to colors, curves, and up here I'm gonna take this node to the top right and slide that to the left to to add some white to that texture there. And I'm, go, I'm going ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and darken some of the shadows there in that texture by bringing this bottom node to the right. That right there is what we're looking for. I'll go ahead and click OK. And what I want to do now is apply the same texture to the red portion, only I'm going to have the threads going in the opposite direction. So what I'll do now is I'll take this image up here. I'm going to create another duplicate of that, bring it up top, turn the visibility on temporarily, and I'm going to grab the flip tool and where it says horizontal, we just want to make sure we have horizontal selected and not vertical, and go ahead and click on the image. And now the pattern, the seams of the uh, fabric are going in the opposite direction. Now we can turn the visibility of that off again. I'm going to click on this icon right here. I'm going to grab the Select by Color tool again. Click on the color red. Click on the uh, top layer up here. Turn the visibility back on. Go to Select, Invert, and then again press Delete on the keyboard. And as I mentioned previously, if you're using Mac, you go to Edit, Clear. Now we'll go to Select, None. And if, if, you, if you notice, you can see the patterns, uh, the threads are going in the opposite direction. That's the effect we were looking for. So let me try a blend mode here. I think multiply is the one. Yeah, multiply is what we work with right there. That's looking pretty good. Uh, the final step would, to be to, would be to add a little bit of depth to it to make it look like certain parts of the graphic are raised above the other to make it look like a true embroidered patch. So to do that, I'm going to grab the liquid icon layer. I'm going to create a duplicate of that. 
bring that to the very top and I'm going to give that a blur. I'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And we want to blur this by 10 pixels. I, I think by default it sets it at 5. So just go ahead and manually type in 10. Go ahead and click OK. And that's going to give it a little bit of a blur. And what we'll do now is go to Filters, Distorts, Emboss. And for this, let me make this a little bigger so you can see it. Um, if you notice in here, we have this Emboss effect that we're setting up. Uh, the presets that I'm working with, we want, we want it set to Emboss instead of uh, Bitmap. And from these three inputs, I'm going to put 70, 60, and 60. Mine are automatically set there because I was preparing this video before I started recording it, and it saved those preferences. When you open it up, it's going to default to different inputs. So just go ahead and change that to 70, 60, 60. Go ahead and click OK. And we're going to get this uh, 3D-looking emblem of our design. And what I'll do now is I'll just set the mode of that to Overlay. And there you have it. As you can see, we have created our embroidered patch effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.